Hello, welcome back to a brand new micro production video. So today we're going to have a look at the brand new update 0.7.4 which has just came out today. So I'll go through all the features and additional tweaks that have been put in and I will not actually clarify all the bug fixes because there have been so many bug fixes in this update. It's really, really great. They're actually fixing them and telling us which bugs they've fixed because they have fixed some quite important bug fixes. So we'll just go in and show off the main feature which has been added. So as a few of you may know, well a lot of you may know, Pocket Mine has closed down. Um, Johan did tweet to the guy, I think tweeted, I can't really remember, I was speaking to William TDR about it. Um, he asked them to close it down because some like, people were selling servers and saying they were realms, so that's not good at all. So it has been closed down, which is quite understandable. However, they have added a new IP feature. So you do what you do is you click edit and then external. And this basically adds in a brand new server. So this is a lot like Minecraft P, uh, Minecraft PC. However, it is really, really great because now we can uh, continue to carry on to join to our favorite servers. So I'm just going to join the very famous Lifeboat Survival Games one. So let's just type it in. You guys will probably know of this server. And there's also other ones out at the moment. But I'll just like type in the IP as well. sg.lbsg.net. Net. And then the port is exactly the same, and then I'll just click add, and there you go, it's right at the top there. Uh, you can edit and delete it, you can't change it sadly, but that doesn't really matter. So we'll just go ahead, click that, and see what happens. Um, sometimes I won't be able to join, which is because there's no uh, style games open at the moment. So it looks like that's happened this time again. I was able to connect to it last time, however sadly there's no open at, none open at the moment. So now we'll get into the next few features, so we'll just click on that world. And I've just been disconnected from the server, which I think is something to do with the lifeboat one. And right now, what we can do is we can actually explode creepers using flint and steel. So, I, originally I thought you just had to tap them, but that just hits them. So what you need to do is you walk up to it and you just hold it on the creeper. And then, let's see if I can get close enough, and then the creeper will just explode. So there you go, now we can set off creepers just using the flint and steels just by tapping them. And as well as that, there are a few new tweaks to do with sound. However, sadly, I you won't be able to hear sound because I can't record sound very well on this. So what you what the new tweaks are is when you actually use the flint steel, it'll make a little like clicking sound. And as well as that, um, when you go close to fire, you'll actually be able to hear fire sounds, which are quite cool. So maybe um, in your own time, go and check that out um, in the game. And as well as that, there's a new sound for when you destroy a tool. So let's just dig some dirt. And when the tool breaks, there'll be a small little sound for that. As well as this, the clouds have now been darkened in colour to correspond with the Minecraft PC's um, cloud colouring. And also, I did notice this in 0.7.3, which I did miss an update video on because I was on holiday. So I really do apologise about that. But I did notice this. The When you looked at the sun for a cloud, it looked like the sun was like in front of the cloud, which was a bit worrying because that would have really burned everybody. But as you can see now, the cloud is sort of, it looks like it's in front of the sun, which is quite good. And that's all grey and stuff, so that's been fixed. Um, there's been so many bug fixes, as I already have said. So that's basically the majority of it. The orbit size of the sun and moon around the player has been fixed, fixing a sun and a moon size problem, as well as the sun appearing in front of the clouds. So that's what was fixed. Um, the sun now disappears during the night and vice versa, which is good, so I think you could probably see it um, if you opened up the map and looked under into the void, you'd probably see it then. So that's been fixed, and there's been a load of new bug fixes, but those were just the tweaks, so thank you guys for watching this video. Hopefully there'll be a new micro uh, Let's Play soon. I have got a cold at the moment, which you might be able to tell with my voice, I'm not really sure. So there'll be new videos coming out shortly, and I'm sorry I have been on hiatus for so long. So thank you guys for watching this video, please give this video a like, subscribe, do what you guys normally do, and goodbye, thanks for watching, bye, bye, bye.